Al Michaels in New York. Let's get you caught up to date. All three games right now being played in the United States Football League. Two of them at halftime, one late in the first half. First, highlights from the game at Chicago. Terrible weather. The temperature in the 30s. Three inches of snow expected. The Denver Gold against the Chicago Blitz. The Blitz's home debut. First quarter action, Greg Landry back to pass for Chicago. 42 yards to Lenny Willis for this touchdown. That made it 10 to nothing, Chicago. However, on the last play of the first quarter, Brian Spielman kicks this 39-yard field goal, and as you can see, he falls down. The slippery footing, he was still able to kick it through into a 20-mile-per-hour wind. That made it 10 to 3, blitz at the end of the first period. Then after a Chicago turnover, Early in the second quarter on the very next play, it was Harry Sidney from Kansas taking it around the right side, eluding one tackler, moving down the sideline and in for the score. And thus at the half at Soldier Field, it is Denver 10 and Chicago 10. So it's close there, but not so close at New Jersey. East Rutherford, Giant Stadium, good crowd looking on, but it's been all Tampa Bay. Early on, it was John Reeves with a three-yard touchdown pass to Greg Boone. That made the score 11-0. The Bandits going for two on the conversion and making it. And then Reeves striking again with 2.30 to play in the first half, 25 yards to Eric Trevilian. It is 18-3 as Dave Jacobs kicked a 30-yard field goal at the half. Herschel Walker has carried the ball 14 times for just 29 yards. He's got two passes for 11 yards. Meanwhile, Nickerson Field, tiny, just 21,000 capacity. Good crowd looking on on a very pleasant day in Boston. The score was tied 3-3 early in the second period. Tim Mazzetti kicking this field goal from 47 yards to make it breakers 6, Federals 3. Washington coming in after two very bad performances, 0-2, but getting this touchdown just moments ago. Kim McQuilkin, a great catch by Joey Walters, who caught 105 passes last year for Saskatchewan of the CFL late second quarter. Washington 10 and Boston 6. So you're right up to date as far as the USFL is concerned. ABC's Wide World of Sports follows football. We had hoped to bring you the Atlanta 500. Early on, we had the report from Jim McKay that the weather looked like it would be clearing. It did not. The Atlanta 500 has been rained out. You will see it live, however, next Sunday. Meanwhile, today, still a lot of action on ABC's Wide World of Sports upcoming at 4.45 Eastern Time. NCAA Wrestling Championships coming your way from Oklahoma City. A look back at highlights of the WBA Welterweight Championship fight held last month between Donald Curry and Young Suk Wang of Korea. And a look at the best amateur welterweight in the world, world champion Mark Breland in his attempt to win a fourth Golden Gloves Championship at Madison Square Garden on Friday. Coming up on Wide World later. Right now, let's take you back to the stadium.